Hi, we're back uh, and Joy Nash is here. Yeah. Thanks for coming back on our show. Anytime, ladies. Anytime. Oh, Two well, times. we'll see how busy you get, Miss Miss. <laughs> You'll be like, plus this, who? <laughs> I couldn't possibly come by, guys. No, I'm Never. so busy. Never. So and busy. And I love it. She's so coordinated. It's so funny. What Last time Joy was here, she was like really taking a chance on a couple of new girls on the street. Right. Like, oh, come on. Really? You kind of did. We thank no, you. No, you really. For that. She like rushed in from Vegas. Remember? <laughs> I yeah, I was like a sub, right? Like, like. Oh, because <laughs> remember our guest like had a stroke or something. <gasps> oh, yeah. Last minute, right. and it was like oh. real crazy, and I was like. <gasps> Maybe right. I could ask Joy Nash. Like, she like, lives I'm locally. in Las Vegas, I know. but I'll, I'll do oh what I can. God. I know, it's she amazing, it. amazing. I know. And so we didn't have our beautiful paintings that Eva made behind us. No. At our last last time she was here. And she matches one Well, of and the lighting happened. here is much better now. Mm, thanks, Ring Light. Thank you, Tony <laughs> Sweet. Guys, you a really good studio. You should totally shoot something here. <laughs> you totally um, should. But we want to talk about you. Joy. Okay, it's amazing to watch someone take the journey that you have watched like as actors you get to see people go through lots of stages mm-hmm. there's a lot of lows there's some highs but then every now and then um, our friend Carla Jimenez has done this too like all of a sudden hits a stride and you're like holy crap like just <laughs> nailing it like you've had this incredible year do it's you been crazy. feel like it's transformed you do you feel like you're a bit different uh a night yeah i mean i don't know i don't know that's a weird question <laughs> Sorry. I, I, uh, well because you haven't started filming yet yeah, we right haven't started filming I, I, ha- I haven't i haven't i haven't got any big paychecks yet <laughs> <laughs> exactly. i still have all of my credit cards <laughs> right. all of my debt <laughs> yeah um but but yeah, like things are coming out. I got to like, go to a gifting suite last week. I uh, know I saw that. I was like, mm, yeah. that sounds really fun. <laughs> How gifty! It was, it was. And yeah. My friend hooked me up, man. It's yeah, it's crazy. I love that. Things are changing. And took, and took pictures with everything. So we literally kept asking you week after week. Can you talk about it now? Can you talk yeah. about it now? <laughs> Can you come back now? So Twin Peaks, yes. obviously, I, like I told you personally, I have a friend, David, who when I sat down and told him you were in it, uh-huh. he's like, don't spoil it. I was like, I won't, but she's on this week. So and, I, and she has like a significant thing. So make sure he text messaged me as soon as he watched it. He's like, your friend is marvelous. Oh. And literally, it is the highlight, highlight of the entire franchise for me. Oh, come what, Like, on. your episode and what you oh. did. I mean, you're stunningly beautiful in it, first of all. Oh, God. I it's mean, so and you had like some fan art made for you. Yeah, <laughs> people are so talented. Well, so we're right now we're showing you guys the actual picture of Joy, <laughs> and then that is the fan art that somebody made. Right for you. That's so amazing. It's incredible. It's incredible. I mean, I can't take credit for any of that. Like, <laughs> and and the it's, it's, it's so the fans cool. of this show. Like, people are so invested in like nothing I've ever done before has anything like this. Like, people care so much about it. And it's, oh, I mean, it has like a wave. huge following, and like people are Absolutely. nuts about now, the show. Was there a lot of? I mean, we know that there was pressure because you were like, I literally can't even really tell people I'm on it. <laughs> no, you you had signed some crazy NDA. Like, yeah. you would barely even, yeah, you could, like, not even say that you were on it, right? Yeah. I mean, yeah, they published that, that cast list, but that was all, like, you will owe us one million dollars if you mention and anything, that sounds basically. that's like wow. so scary you're like my credit cards don't go that way. <laughs> okay okay <laughs> my, i don't have a my life insurance i don't have a life insurance yes <laughs> right 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 <laughs> but then also in a sense it was such a gift too like i can't say david lynch fucking changed my life man like like <laughs> you can say fucking on oh, here good. yeah okay. you can you can <laughs> <laughs> oh my god i well, mean a like to d- i didn't audition for that role i got called by an extra extras casting director um who said uh we found your picture on la ca- casting and are you still acting would you like to come in i was like uh, okay so we showed up and we shot these two days and i i don't have dialogue in it so um i couldn't talk about that so i couldn't minimize it right in the time afterwards because my mo is to be like oh i did this thing and i mean it sounds cool don't, don't worry though it's not that big of a deal uh uh and so when people are like well you know how big is your role is it a co-star is it recurring what, well, you know <laughs> how many lines do you have right i right. couldn't i couldn't be like none i, I mean i don't know <laughs> right yeah yeah like, 
So like, you shot this sep- like you did, weren't given a script or anything. You just went and shot a scenario. Sort. Of, I mean, I showed up. I wasn't given a script. I showed up on set. David Lynch was directing. He had really specific things that he wanted me to hit and do, and I did that. And then at the end of the day, I, they had to have planned it before. But he was like, "So c- can you come back?" I was like. <laughs> What if I said no? <laughs> right. You're like, what if I was busy? <laughs> yeah. Are you, oh, of course. Yeah. Yes, I'll be here. But it was, <laughs> yeah, it was, I had no idea what was happening. I didn't know that Laura Palmer would be in the, in the globe. I didn't know. I hope that's not a spoiler for everyone. Sorry. Uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. If, if you're a real diehard I mean, fan who hasn't yeah, watched have, it, yeah, then you're on luck. You. Exactly. Right. Right. <laughs> sorry about it. Not sorry. Not sorry. Yeah. Um. So when you uh, were, you, were you a fan of Zero? I I had watched an episode before I filmed my episode. Oh, okay. So I I mean it's a little before my time, and my parents are really religious, as oh, we talked right. about before. My parents didn't let us watch it. It was like too weird and out there. Yeah. I totally watched yeah. the whole thing and then went to the movie in the theater. I watched I watched yeah. it recently as an adult and was like, this is we're really weird. <laughs> like I don't really weird. Know, I don't really know if this is like a comedy <laughs> or like just yeah. like a. I don't really know what genre it is. Yeah, yeah. It's like a very it's, strange. It, Thing, yeah. And to think it was on CBS. I know. I work television. It I mean, really now it cool. could never be on CBS. Like, no. that's why it's on Showtime. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So interesting. So going in with that, were you just sort of like, I'm going to take in this artistic experience? Yeah. Without yeah. any kind of like context, right? Yeah, that's all I could do. I mean, I showed up. They they made a gown for me. I went to a fitting beforehand, yeah. but then they like. But they had that whole thing like all, like you had to go try that on, and you were just like, I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just trying this on. Yep, yep. I went to a fitting. I there was a woman measuring me, and I'm like, I didn't. All I I was like, all you know about me is my height and my size. Am I going to be fat lady number two? Am I the butt of a joke? Right. I have no idea. All I know is that David Lynch is involved, and so I said right. yes. So so I'm at this fitting, and the next to me is this row of like uh, patterns for some other production, and they've got character names on them like Castor and Pollux and Woody Harrelson. This woman made the Hunger Games costumes. Wow! And I was like, "Holy shit! I- I'll I'll be fine." <laughs> yeah, <Whatever>. yeah, <laughs> yeah. You're oh, like just this costume alone. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, it's funny because it does remind me a bit. They weren't quite as tight lipped, but when I did that short recurring on American Horror Story, yeah, Freak tell me show, about that. It literally. Like I auditioned with one scene that was like real sexy and like in sheets in the bed and all this stuff. And I thought that's what I was going down there to do. And I got the script literally before I stepped onto my plane pretty much. Wow. And it was like not anything that I had read for. It was like give birth outside in front of people. (gasps) Do a 19, you know, a, a vaudeville act in front of an audience. I was like, pull a gun out and stop him from killing your baby. I was like, what? Like, like, what's happening? <laughs> yeah. But in the same way, like, had my fittings, and Lou is the designer. She's amazing. She's won all kinds of Emmys, and same exact thing. Like, yeah. she's done extraordinary, crazy things. So when you go there, you're like, oh, yeah, of course, everything's yeah. going to be perfect. And, yeah. And that the hair and makeup design, unreal. And it was something that you were, like, built for, like, a vaudeville act. Like, come on. like Hilarious. It's, well, it's exactly your sweet spot. Like, things you didn't even necessarily know that you were created to do, and then here you're handed it yeah it's yeah crazy. and I literally made up my choreography everyone just so you know if you were wondering it, who choreographed that it was maybe choreography I did when I was in college yes. and a number called too much mustard <laughs> that was a Charleston ah, number that's incredible <laughs> that's yeah awesome yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah but do you wish that you could have kept that like you're like dang stupid NDA like I wish I could have kept that the outfit awesome. oh hell yeah oh uh, my god it's so beautiful there was one moment though so like like halfway through I don't remember which day but I had to go to the bathroom and we shot in this old theater and the only bathroom is on like the basement level so I'd gone down three flights of stairs all by myself and used the bathroom got myself out of the costume but then when I went to zip it back up I had these two like bejeweled cuffs and they both got caught <gasps> in the lace Oh, oh no! no. Oh, and you're yeah. like, ah! like, oh, <laughs> like in no. handcuffs, and I can't. I'm not gonna rip it, right? Right. But I'm trapped in a bathroom, <laughs> so I like <laughs> finagled around enough to unclasp each of them, oh, so my hands are and they're just like hanging from. Them. I oh, got upstairs and somebody god. released me. Oh my gosh! I was kind of hoping that the story itself. would mean that you had to like do like a whole <laughs> thing, like you had to like get 
out, like unlock the door, and then like shimmy back around, and then get out and like open the bathroom door, and then like walk up and be like, hey, just halfway zip, just hey. <laughs> I'm really glad you're good with cuffs. <laughs> you yeah. know who to go to. Yeah. You know. <laughs> Girls you and girl. Know. If you're going to get kidnapped, snare cuffs. <laughs> right. Like, Joyce is a lady. That's right. <laughs> I do what I can. You know. <laughs> she knows how to break out of them. Yeah, for sure. Okay, we're going to take a tiny quick break, and then we're going to come back, and we're going to talk about your new role in the uh, – it's, it's like a book that people are like bananas over. Yeah. This one. I mean, I love it too, but this one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, uh, dial we'll talk all about yeah. it. Yeah. When we come back, plus this. Stay yeah. guys. Promotional consideration brought to you by Melissa Massey. Custom clothing isn't exclusively for the rich and famous. Melissa Massey is custom made clothing for everyday wear. A unique combination of custom tailoring and deluxe fabrics that is well made and fit for every size and frame. Made in LA, sold in LA, and online at melissamassey.com. It's not the natural beauty products in your life, but the life in your natural beauty products. Linda Kamen's Aromatherapy Salon, lindacammons.com, for happier, healthier living. Welcome back. We're here with Joy Nash, who was on Twin Peaks, at, but now she's going to be on another show. Um, Not even just on another show. She is the lead, yes. series lead character yes. of this amazing show that's coming out that is written and directed by Marty Noxon, who also did Buffy the Vampire Slayer mm-hmm. um, and uh, other shows, but Buffy the Vampire yeah. Slayer. Yeah. <laughs> and and um, she took on this book. So Saray Walker wrote a book called Dietland, which is about Plum Kettle. And Plum is this like really beloved character like in the plus size community I would say people like really really love her and so I was just curious because the second they announced you people were like oh Hollywood <laughs> <laughs> like that's not plum she because mm. plum is 300 pounds mm. and so I don't know like they were like mad yeah at you that that you got cast and and I was just curious like yeah because it's I mean because she is like such a well-known character anyway in the plus size community and I think I'm just curious how that felt I mean if you even knew that people were like you're not fat enough I I mean I anticipated that and the truth of the matter is my BMI is 40 I am morbidly obese like that's the truth of the matter but I I hear that what they're saying and and um I I don't discount it it's it's I didn't think that I didn't think I would get the part first of all because of that um but I so like I know this girl, you know what I mean? I I was pretty lucky to come to fat acceptance early. Like I think I was 18 when I first read Fat So. And so I didn't spend my life hating my body like that, but um, I know what it's like to wait for life to begin. Mm. I was waiting for somebody to love me back. I was waiting for somebody to tap me on the shoulder and ask me to be an actress. Mm. And uh, like, I just, I mean, that's what I was doing for most of my life. And it wasn't until like maybe two, three, four years ago, I started doing it myself. You know, mm. I uh, I made myself an actress. I made a one woman show. I wrote the fat rants and, yeah. and put that together. And then, uh, you know, I'm slowly but surely falling in love with myself. And that's harder than anything. Like, I don't know. So yeah, I, I hear what people are saying. All I can say is that that I, I know her and I am her. And I know that people uh, feel so much about it. Like, like she's so many other people too. Totally. Well, yeah. that's I. I was just gonna say. I feel like that's the whole thing. Like, people do feel ownership because they recognize they. Yeah. That is one of the few places I, I felt that way about. She's come undone. Quite frankly, mm. when I read that book, I was like, "This girl is exact. I have done this. Like, yeah. I know what she's doing. Yeah. And um, so I get how because when you don't get something enough yeah and then you read it you're like oh i recognize my, myself yeah in that. You feel well ownership. and i think that it's not fair because they just judge you <laughs> on your the one picture that they saw in variety which i'm like <laughs> girl knows her angles when she hey, gets her picture yeah, taken yeah i was wearing a corset i mean it's you know so like they're judging you on that mm-hmm. and i don't think that that's i don't think that that's fair 
Um, personally, I just know that Eva is literally like Mama Bear and is like, Aww. step aside, oh, roll Eva. over. Like, she's like, <laughs> figure it out. I know. I'm like, Joy's gonna be great <laughs> and you're gonna love her and you're gonna be like, thank God they cast Joy Nash in Aww. this. Oh, for sure. Yeah. For sure. Thanks, guys. And they're, um, <laughs> so do you feel like you are going to have to handle like this? Because here's the thing Chrissy Metz has to do it too, yeah. but her character. On This Is Us, which did you watch it, guys? Did you watch it on Tuesday? So good. Oh, I um, seen but uh, it just came back second season, so you can totally go on NBC.com. But uh, <laughs> the you know that character is going through something that we have seen before. I think, yeah, right. It's something that Hollywood's very comfortable with. It's it's sort of the the track that, that they she go is down. losing weight. That yeah. that's the only acceptable way a fat person can be in the society is if yeah. they're trying to do something about it. Yeah. So this character is not really that in a yeah. way, and it doesn't have, isn't like, she's almost a bit antisocial in the beginning. Yeah, and and re- uh, certainly a loner, mm-hmm. and, a little introvert for sure. Yeah, and I think that. Um, and conditioned to be an introvert. Mm-hmm. I and think. I think that that's something dark that we haven't seen and been privy to before. So do you feel like it's going to be a show about that? So therefore, you're going to have to talk about this all the time, I guess, is my point in interviews. Um, yes. Yeah. I hear. Yeah. I think I feel like that's a uh, it is it's it's what the show is about. So there's definitely always going to be an aspect of that, I think. Mm-hmm. Um, I think. Also, though, that it's about more than that. And I hopefully because of shows like This Is Us and and there's like every additional fat person we see in the media, we're broadening the scope. And I think people have a tendency to be like, that's not my story. That's not how it's for me. Mm. And that's evidence that we need more stories. Exactly. Like, we need more people to hear these other points of view. Yeah, it also has a vigilante, without giving too much away, it has a vigilante aspect. Well, it's hard, not even kind of. I mean, it gets hardcore. The book gets really, really hardcore. Yeah, not as much as the script. We read the script. Well, we read, we read the pilot script, and we don't know how they're going to how they're gonna <laughs> go throughout the whole season. I'm hoping that they do um, follow the book as much as they can. I think that there are some elements that they're adding for television things but, yeah uh you know they have <laughs> rules of television <laughs> um so they are adding some of that stuff but it seems like they're gonna stick to the book pretty closely i mean i can't say too much right um but y- things are not wildly different in fact i think that there's things that didn't make it into the book that we get to explore because oh, there's awesome. more time because Saray Walker mm. is so involved She's in so the writing of it, it. which yeah. is so great that they did that because a lot of times they just buy the rights and they just are like bye mm-hmm. yeah. so it's great that they're they She's involved in the room her. She's got a voice yeah which yeah. is so great into where plum kettle is going to go exactly. is this is are you here doing that what do you mean uh, like are you, are filming, you here? filming here no New York Ooh. Oh, new. well it makes sense it's set in New York. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So set in Brooklyn. It's good that they're not faking it till they. Oh, yeah, but they, <laughs> they will do some shots in LA because if they're staying true to the book, there's it, there's things that are happening in the world that they are mm-hmm. showing and things that happen on the 110 freeway. Mm-hmm. You guys have to read the book. You have you to have read the book. To it's read so the book. amazing. It's so good. Yes, and for just sure. know that Joy is going to kill it as. Oh my god! Oh. What's the thing you're most excited about? Ah, oh God, everything. She's it's like the <laughs> paycheck. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's a dream role. Like, I, re- I remember even 10 years ago, a friend of mine being like, what's your dream role? And I couldn't think of anything because I'd never read a book like this. Right. There hadn't been a character like this. Absolutely. Somebody who goes through all this shit and stays herself, like stays fat. Never, never been before. And it's here and it's happening. Yeah. I know. And I know. and that she's like not like she's dealing with that, not about what she eats at, at a certain point. Yeah. Like she you watch her sort of give up mm-hmm. on the idea that controlling food is going to help her control her life. Yeah. Like it obviously spun it into a place that was so tight that she couldn't get out of it. Yeah. Like so. So that I did love the book for that for sure and I love that that's going to be And on they TV. are challenging the fashion industry, they are challenging media, they are challenging the male perspective. I am very very excited about it and also super super grateful to these women who are creating this show. Yes, so many women involved. Like 
so many producers, uh, uh, like every production, there's like three involved in them, and it's female executives all the way. It's insane. I love it. And it's AMC, mm -hmm. and it's happening in it's, as a winter, mid-season? I'm not sure when we're going to air. Okay. But it's supposed to come out in 2018, right? I hope so. Fingers I don't crossed. know. Everything crossed because we want to see it. We want to see it. Totally want to see it. <laughs> we have a viewing party. <gasps> oh my God. We might have. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We have to talk about how you're going to be at the Plus Bus. Oh, yeah. I almost forgot. Okay, guys. So here's the deal, y'all. Um, <laughs> I got to break something down. If you follow our Instagram you, or you listen to this program ever, you know we love the Plus Bus. It's in Glassell Park. Uh, and it's amazing. And I have a dress that has never gotten, no other photo of me in this dress has ever gotten more likes or more comments than this blue dress I wear. And I can't believe we didn't bring up a picture of it. I'm so sorry, Eva. Oh. I didn't know I you were the ball. talk about it. I didn't it. know I was going to talk about it either. But what I love is that one of those comments was Joy Nash. She was like, hey, I think that was my dress that I gave to the <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. I have we you both, to thank. We oh. both have. We have Joy. We both have Joy now. Oh, yeah. Pieces. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> and her dress got a little oh, million gosh, likes, so too. Many I, I totally had swapper's remorse. You guys oh, posted no. that. I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> You're like, I want it back. Damn it. So we want to tell you that Joy Nash is going to the Plus Bus for her own event. And y'all should go and get some of her yeah, stuff. And bring some because money. We, we did it accidentally. Yeah. yeah. And bring your clothes to swap it. So when are you doing that? Tell us when you're doing it. Uh, October 14th. That's really fun. And what is That's is a it, Saturday. Is it an early yes. day for them? Or is it three? Uh, I'm not sure. I feel like it's towards the evening. Yeah, usually oh. they are. They're only open at evening like things. four or something. Yeah. yeah, they've been do. They've opened earlier and stayed open later. Oh, yeah. Well, I pay attention to them, them oh. very much. Apparently, I so. always try and take my stuff in there. I know. I have that bag of stuff that I really I need to bring in. Guys, it's terrible. We need to do like we brand have new, to do this. brand new items that I, I have know. literally just was like, we have I gotta to go. Take this in. We can we do it? Yeah. yeah. We want to come see yeah, you. Yeah, please. We please. have to sell our stuff. Oh my mm -hmm. gosh, we like, really we're ridiculous. Do. Guys, would you guys come and buy our stuff? The stuff that we've worn, That'd beautiful be thing. Yes, and, or maybe it's maybe it's something that Joy sold once, and we're giving yeah. it back no. again. Very <laughs> popular. Joy is going to buy it back from us at an inflated rate. <laughs> no, <you laughs> like formerly owned by, by Joy Nash, and currently owned by Joy Nash. <laughs> That's amazing. Um, so, uh, do you feel like you your modeling stuff is still happening? Do you feel like you like? maybe want to venture into that world eventually wow that's a good question i, I don't know. know i mean what what, what plus size celebrity doesn't have a clothing line no is but like one? are you gonna write you that's true that is true <laughs> i mean you're not wrong. but i'm kind of like imagining you being on the runway oh that's sweet <laughs> i don't have any no, plans for that right? yet. yeah for sure yeah, she, well, or at least sitting in the front row, being like, mm -hmm, "Yeah." But what? you know so much about clothes. <laughs> but you, uh -uh. Ha because of your experience, you uh -uh. know so much about clothes. Yes, like, it seems like a natural step. I'm not part peer pressuring you. Go visit Joy <laughs> okay, at wait, the Plus Bus. But can we, if you're here can on we October talk 14th. for a, just a hot second? Because this is like my favorite thing that you ever tweet about. Um, your mom. <laughs> oh yes, <laughs> who you mentioned earlier because. Joy's mom is very religious mm -hmm. and has opinions. And when you were telling your mom about getting Dietland, she was like, oh, did you tell them that we don't swear? Mm -hmm. She did. She said that. <laughs> <laughs> she's, she's like, so now what is it? I'm going to be on a TV show. You're moving to be on a TV show. <laughs> yes, yes. I'm moving to New York to start on a TV show. Uh-huh. On AMC. While well, you tell them we do not swear. <laughs> okay, mom. All right. <laughs> The only other thing she said really was, uh, like I was telling her about my day, you know, something I met with producers and she's like, it's a lot different than being a substitute teacher, that's for sure. <gasps> <laughs> that's what she does. Wait, I'm just <laughs> curious because this show is going to be racy. Because <laughs> I'm sure your mom's watching our show. Give it to yourself. <laughs> well, I was just thinking about, because in the book, there's one part where there's a room full of porn that's like supposed to like super expose you to it so that you're just like desensitized to it. <laughs> and I'm just curious what your you are mom smart. These think. are hard hitting questions, I'm girl. I'm just curious about yeah. what your mom is going to be. <laughs> She sees you in that room. I have, I have no idea. You're like, just don't 
watch this episode. They don't have, oh, you know what? They don't they have cable. This week. Oh, they don't <laughs> no, have cable. They don't. I'm certainly not going to help them hook it up. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> I'm going to wait until the show is like syndicated in reruns yeah. with everything oh, exciting cut out. Like with the yeah. Sex in the City, how they do that. They just like take all the sex scenes out. Everything's out. Okay. That's my goal. That's my plan. That's good. Or just send them the commercial. Have they? Have they um, announced any of the other cast? Not that I know of. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I'm very excited to see who's going to play your boss, who's going to play all the characters. I know. I know. It's really I'm hoping exciting. I get to read with people in advance. I hope you do oh, too. Sure you will. Don't you think? At least at a table read. Oh, well, yeah. definitely. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's really good. That's really good. There was one other hot topic we wanted to kind of talk about. Um, uh, especially since we just did that whole opening thing about um, us and being kids and how we how you're so young when you're affected by um, fat bias. Yeah. And another thing, this is amazing uh, blog article that was written about um, what plus making what happens when you are young and plus size clothing isn't available to you for chil- like in children's for kids, clothes. Hmm. In children's. I clothes. mean, in this specific. Um, writer talked about how she in the third grade was 5'7 in the fifth grade she was 5'10 yep so because you're pretty tall yeah were you always tall yeah I was always the I wouldn't I I was a chubby kid I wasn't fat per se but I was six inches taller than everyone in my class always and then did you did you have to wear adult clothing yeah and then did, did men like yeah, I think I was an adult. Think you were Absolutely. an adult. Yeah. yeah. At so 13. She, yeah. she talks about that because, like, her friends Ten. would be wearing, like, pink unicorns and she would be wearing is, Lane Bryant yeah. pants. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And how that really affected her. And I, I remember being 10 and having to get size 10 in. Like, I got my period. I stopped yep. growing. I started gaining weight. My boobs were real big. Mm-hmm. And I had to go where my mom shopped at the JCPenney and shop and for older ladies' clothes. Yeah. And you do. And so I that's probably where my obsession with fashion came because I was like, well, what can work? Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, what's still fun? You know, if junior stuff isn't going to work for me, how can but I would make you, it work? Would you, like, have your dad help you make stuff? Oh, full on. Me and my dad full on made jams. Kathy's dad oh. is a, Kathy's dad's a costumer. costumer yeah. So he could help so he her make stuff. So, Lucky so I made a lot of my, yes, mm-hmm. own singular pieces, but mm-hmm. not really, like, whole Couture? They were couture? Like, couture jams. They were, they were, they were <laughs> deech couture. You guys don't know what jams are, because I'm so old and they're so not. Are they pajamas? But no. Oh. They're shorts. They're very <laughs> That's what long, I assume they were. very long, loud shorts. Um, Do they have, like, tassels on the end? No. <laughs> oh. Like, jeans? Hey, no. I don't know. I wanted them to have tassels. They I had I had a friend who her brother no. her brother had shorts that had tassels at the end, and I was like, "What a dork!" Mm. Oh no, I didn't have tassels. The are my but I figured that the you might have jams tassels. didn't have tassels. No, my- but I will say that it did feel like I did like had a fight against this idea of being treated like an adult way yeah. before my time. It's so interesting you say that. I I never made that connection before. All my stuff, we didn't have a lot of money. All my clothes were hand-me-downs. But come to think, I mean, they were adult clothing and I hadn't, and men always treated me like I was much older and I never put a finger on it that maybe my clothes had something to do with it. Mm. That I was wearing adult women clothes, not just that I look like an adult woman as but a probably preteen. both, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a really interesting aspect. Yeah, and I th- and I think it's also another danger. It's but like it another... was really dangerous. She said that yeah. like me- people would yell at her for holding hands with her mom, like call her like them call them like fucking lesbians and like all this like they uh, attacked her and her mom for holding hands because she looked like a grown adult, but mm-hmm. she was twelve. I mean, and she felt like she was pushed into early sexuality because of it, and felt like she didn't value herself I mean like there's a lot of things in this posting that she talked about because of like literally because there weren't kid clothing yeah there wasn't clothing that was that looked like kids clothing yeah Mm -hmm. I mean that's something it that it makes me literally want to do something like it makes me like want to go to places and be like okay so what do we have to do like but that's what makes places like hot topic great because they do have they do have like sections that yeah, are more they have, fun. But Hot Topic is not, not for 10 year olds. Yeah, not every 10 not year olds. <laughs> sorry, Torrid, Torrid. Not every for 10 year olds. But Torrid has some plus size stuff that's like kind of, you know. Younger. But younger. Where, where, where did kids shop? I feel like 
like places like Kmart, that's where a parent's going to buy clothes for their kids. Yeah. Well, Kmart or, now has fabulous sizes yes. for, for kids too. I don't though? know. I don't know. I really Maybe do not. That, this is an interesting question. I want market. us to like pay attention to it now. I don't have kids, so I don't really pay attention. None to None of us much, have kids, but I think. Do you have that any kids that you know of? Not that I know of. <laughs> yeah, but me let's either. keep our eyes out because I I don't. Let's like keep that. our eyes out. Our eyes, all of our eyes, collectively. Um, Joy, how can people follow you and yes. find you? I'm the real Joy Nash. On the Instagram. real. Real Joy Nash. Don't get it twisted. Ooh. Don't get it twisted. <laughs> and on Facebook, I have a fan page at The Real Joy Nash also. Oh, great. Very nice. Welcome Good. back here. Thank you for coming to our new space. Thanks yes. for having me, guys. guys. You're incredible. Well, we will have to have you back. Yes, please. Yeah, the night is young. We're, so we're going oh, out. Oh, we're going right. out. We're going to go to the Marjorie Salvatera. <laughs> uh, I'm wearing a gown. I'm going to be supremely overdressed, and I don't care. <laughs> gonna be amazing um and we'll totally take a bunch of pictures with joy later so you can see yes Her dress is see, real cute which she has on mm, right all of us are so cute today yes it's a good one guys we'll be back next week same time six o'clock thursdays plus this hey!